All right, let's talk about perpendicular bisectors. Uh, perpendicular bisectors are lines that meet a new line or a line segment. Let's try a, a line segment here, AB. We'll call this line AB. A perpendicular bisector would be the line that meets AB at a 90 degree angle here and exactly divides AB into two parts, two equal parts, like so. So this line, CD, splits AB into half, it bisects it, and it meets it at a 90 degree angle. That makes CD a perpendicular bisector of AB. Now one of the properties of a perpendicular bisector is that any point on the bisector Let's make these green. Any point on the bisector is guaranteed to be the same distance from the opposite points on the line that it's bisecting. So these two distances here will be equal, like so, because this line is right in the middle. So if we go from that line to two distances that are the same distance from the center, Obviously, the two distances that we travel were going to be the same. And of course, it works from anywhere on that line. Any of these points will be equidistant from A and B. And then the last thing we're going to mention with perpendicular bisectors has to do with triangles. And that is, if we take a triangle, like so, like this, and we use a perpendicular bisector on all three sides. So we find the center here and we bisect all three sides of the triangle. Sorry, just kind of coming close here. Bisect the three sides of the triangle with those perpendicular bisectors. Then the point where all three of those meet will be obviously different on each triangle, but that point is called the circumcenter. Circumcenter, and we'll deal with that some more when we start talking about uh, circles and combined shapes. But uh, of the sort of, I think there's three different kinds, if I recall correctly, of centers in a triangle. And this particular one, which is the center of the perpendicular bisectors, that's called the circumcenter. All right, let's take a look at the example questions and see how all this stuff works together.